more than 55% of Barbadians are overweight or obese. It's a problem which is caused mostly by unhealthy eating habits and lack of or inadequate exercise. The link between obesity and the onset of chronic diseases such as hypertension and diabetes has well been established. And with 17% of our population diabetic and 25% hypertensive, it's no wonder that government is determined to turn these numbers around. One way to address this issue is to get Barbadians moving again, hence the creation of the National Task Force on Physical Activity and Exercise in 2009. It's an initiative which has been welcomed with open arms by many Barbadians. We've had a number of fitness events around the island. We did Oystens, we did Browns Beach, we did Independence Square, we had the two events at Elara Court. They were well attended. As a matter of fact, the public are constantly asking, when is the next event? Why don't we do this more often? Can we have it once a month? And so these events, we're, we're seeing that people are, are yearning for that, that opportunity to get involved in physical activity and exercise because when people realize the benefits of exercise, they are realizing, hey, you know, this can add to a better quality of life and I want to be a part of this. The task force is responding to the call for more organized fitness events and is now training fitness leaders in communities around the island in the skills necessary to conduct safe and effective exercise programs. We've done two of these workshops so far. We've trained close to 20, 25 persons, and I think the number could be more than that. But these individuals now are in their communities doing fitness programs at churches, at their businesses, at different organizations, in the communities utilizing the parks and beaches. And around the island, what they're doing is really encouraging small pockets of people to be active, to make exercise a critical part of their lifestyle, and in a very unique and uh, user-friendly way. As Barbados has prospered as a country, its citizens have become less active. People are able to afford vehicles and therefore drive everywhere. Many people also spend hours each day working at desks and later head for the couch to watch television. But it's a lifestyle that has a cost. As Barbadians, we do lead sedentary lives. And more and more we're finding that people are not reaching the required amount of exercises. And the dangers to that, not exercising, is that we put ourselves at risk of developing heart disease and hypertension, diabetes, and these chronic conditions that can affect us as we get older. And so the aim is to encourage people to be active. Because if you're not active and you continue in a sanitary lifestyle, in addition to all the other lifestyle habits, you can set yourself up for the premature death, maybe, at, um, because of one of these conditions. And so the danger of inactivity is, is very eminent, it's very prominent, and so we want to encourage people to get as active as possible. He also stressed the importance of nutrition in achieving a healthy lifestyle. I'm not a registered dietitian, so I wouldn't go in the realms of uh, speaking as a dietitian would. But I would encourage people, you want to eat healthy, because what you put into your body reflects the kind of energy that you have coming out. It would also impact how your body responds to exercise and also the development of these chronic conditions. What I advise people to do is to maybe find a registered dietitian or a nutritionist where they can get some simple information from on how they can make simple changes to their diet. And that's going to be critical, especially for people who have a condition, maybe diabetes or high cholesterol or, or hypertension. You want to pay attention to stuff like your sodium intake and your fat intake and your sugars intake. That's critical. The other thing is that you want to be physically active because exercise is the avenue by which your body is going to burn some calories. And all of us have some excess calories to burn off because generally we take in too much. We eat too much food. We take in too much energy as Barbadians. And that problem we have with overweight and obesity is generally because we eat a little bit more. And so exercise should be critical as far as balancing the two is concerned. So, you've got the message. If you want to stay healthy, you have to eat right and exercise. But how much exercise do you really need to make it worthwhile? Any amount of exercise is better than none at all. And, and so, you, you want to get started. You just want to be active. 
American College of Sports Medicine, by whom we are certified, has, has certain guidelines in terms of how much exercise is enough. Generally, three to five times a week, you can start with a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. But here's the other good news. If you're part of a gym or fitness center, fine. And if you can afford to, I encourage you to. But if you can't, there are other cost-effective ways. We have some lovely beaches in Barbados. We have some lovely parks and recreational areas. The Garrison Savannah, the Sagafi Sober Gymnasium, to name a few. In your community, once it is safe, you can do some walking, you can do some running. As I said, 20 to 30 minutes. Start with small amounts and build it up. Find a fun exercise program that you like. That's the important thing. Not one that necessarily has worked for Mary or John or Harriet, but the one that you like. Because guess what? If you love it and you enjoy it, chances are you're going to stick with it. And if you can start with a minimum of three days a week, 20 to 30 minutes, gradually increase that to maybe four or five times. And the stronger you get, the fitter you get, the more you can do and the more you'll feel good about yourself. The key is consistency. The fitness expert warns against the stop and start exercise regimes that some people do each year, starting with great enthusiasm on January 1st and petering out after a few months. It is okay to exercise and try to get in shape and look good for an event. Anniversary, birthday, maybe crop over, or as part of a New Year's resolution, Valentine's, whatever. But more importantly, you want to make exercise a part of your lifestyle because the stop-start type of activity wouldn't offer long-term benefits. And so even though while it's good to get in shape for a special event or a special occasion, you want to make it a permanent part of your lifestyle. And done properly, you'll realize that when it comes to preparing maybe for Valentine's or the same crop over event, it will be much easier rather than breaking for six or eight months and then just choosing one or two months of the year to try to make a miracle happen, which in most cases, you'll be unsuccessful. So you want to make it a part of your lifestyle. Every day, at least do a little bit. And then when it comes to preparing for this special occasion, it could be much easier then. The benefits of staying fit are many. The benefits of exercise outweighs not just feeling good and looking good, but in terms of increased productivity, a better quality of life, having more energy to perform your daily duties. You're more productive at work. You have energy to run around with your kids to enjoy life with your friends and family. The overall good feeling you get about yourself, you wake up on morning and you're just ready for the day. You're less tired because you're stronger, you're fitter. It's gonna do your heart good. It's gonna do your lungs good. So you're gonna breathe easier. Blood is gonna flow through your body much more efficiently. And so those are the overall benefits. In addition to a lot more that you can reap as long as you get active and stay active. The task force is paying special attention to the development of programs for children since it recognizes that if the habit of exercise is established early, healthy children will grow into healthy adults. Currently we are, we are in discussion with, with some of the same programs we have in mind concerning the children's program and, and so when we have some details on that, we're going we're gonna to come to the public with it. We're developing a skipping program within our, within our, our framework of activities for our schools and, and that's something we're looking to do. We've contributed some skipping ropes to various schools so that they can get the, the children going. So there are other aspects of the program that we're looking to develop on a broader scale and once we do, the public can be assured that we will come to them again and we'll be ready to roll. As parents, I think one of the things we have to do is encourage our children to be more active. We are living in a generation where everyone is in front of the television, the VCR, the, the, CD, the DVD player, in front of the internet, we're on YouTube, we're on their iPhones, you know, all of these technological advances that we have are really taken away from the opportunities for our children to be active. When you and I were young growing up, we were outside playing. That, that's where we got most of our activities from. Nowadays, we find that more of our children are sitting. Most of the fun stuff they do are sedentary. And so as parents, because it starts in the home, we want to encourage our children to be active. He stressed the need for schools and parents to join forces in making sure that children participated in physical education programs in schools. In schools, encourage our children to be part of the PE program. The excuses about not wanting to be a part of games should be a thing of the past. We should create programs rather within our schools from primary to secondary and maybe even tertiary, the programs that 
goes beyond the, the physical education program and really encourage physical activity programs so that if we can get this habit of exercise started in our young people, it can translate into an adult that is physically active. Regular exercise is a key weapon in the fight against chronic diseases. In plain terms, Barbadians need to get moving. So choose an activity and stick with it. You'll be helping to add years to your life. To get you started, here are some fun activities you may consider. Get moving, Barbados.